video lecture today is going to be about using a priming read and a modification read. Now we've talked about it, you've read about it in your notes, but we haven't actually done a program that's used a priming read and a modification read. So let's see what we've been doing instead. The priming read and modification read are most usually going to be used when you have an indefinite loop that uses a sentiment. So here is our score savage program, and here is the loop that has a sentiment. So we didn't use a priming read or a modification read. Instead, we, take it, we took our control variable, which is number, and we just initialized it. So let's just break this whole thing down. Here's our while loop, and right here's our condition, number greater than zero, and number is our control variable. Now before we start the loop, our control variable has to have a value. So we just initialized it, and we picked any number. The number didn't, that we assigned it didn't matter, so I used one, but what would have happened if I used zero? I'm going to come in here to my condition, is zero greater than zero? No, so my loop wouldn't have executed. So it didn't matter what number we set it to as long as the loop would be, the condition would be true. Then right inside the loop, we got the number, with the value for number, which is also my control variable, and then what if I did the sentinel? So if I actually put in a zero, did I want to add that to the sum and to the counter? No. So we had to do an if statement so that we did not include the sentinel in our math calculations. So this worked really good. You're used to using it, but it is actually more work than it needs to be. So I'm going to modify this loop to use a priming read and modification read instead. And we'll see how it could make a difference. So instead of just selecting as any value for our initial value, we're actually going to do our priming read. So here's the information that we need. I'm going to put that right here. So I'm not going to initialize. Instead, I'm going to do a priming read. Now if I enter zero, it will quit. It will not execute. So I don't have to worry about including the sentinel. I'm going to take this part. I'm going to move it. Remember that the modification read goes at the bottom. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to put it at the bottom of the loop. Now, do I have to test to see if the number is greater than zero? No, because it's not even going to come into the loop once I hit my sentinel. So now I don't have to worry about an if statement. Whenever I'm inside the loop, I'm automatically going to do my calculations. So I have my priming read. I have my condition. So if I, as long as it's not zero, I'm going to come in here, I'm going to add my sum, do my counter, and then at the end, I do my modification read, enter a new number. So I enter a new number, it's going to come up here and test. So you see how I can cut out a lot of the work. I don't have to worry about an if statement and indenting and all that other kind of messy stuff if I use a priming read and a modification read instead. So it's kind of simplified. If you just remember priming read first, modification read last, and it can make your lesson. So this is what we had before. We changed it with our initialization. We had our input statement, and we had to have an if statement so that we did not include our sentinel in our calculations. Here's where we changed it, where we have our priming read, and we have a modification read, and we didn't have to worry about anything else since we asked last. So easy? It can be. Let's try this whole thing again. Here's our bowling scores program, and once again, we used a sentinel. So here's how we did it. I'll move this over so you can still take a look at it we're changing some things here. So here's how you did it with your program. We have, we initialized the score, any number, as long as it wasn't the sentinel. We asked and we had to have an if statement. So let's change this to our priming read and let's put in a modification read. So I'm going to take this right here. I'm going to change the initialization to a priming read. Now I'm going to move this. It's become, going to become a modification read and we're going to put it at the bottom. Now I don't have to have an if statement. Well, I can have the if statement as far as you know, this part comes because we want to make sure it's a valid score. But I don't have to worry about including the sentinel in here. My priming read, my modification read, and we should be good to go. Just kind of look at a comparison. So let's just try one from scratch. Let's just start a little mini program here. And let's say I'm going to enter numbers, and let's just pick um, 100 to be our sentinel, because I never tried that. Try something different. And I'm going to just increment a counter, something pretty simple. 
So a number is going to be my control variable. I'm going to start my while loop. So while number, and there's many ways you can do this. If I say it's going to be between 1 and 99, I can say less than 100. Or, some of you have been using this, not equals to 100. So, what any kind of condition that's going to stop when my sentinel is reached. I'm going to go ahead and put less than here. And then all I want to do is implement my counter. And then the last thing in my loop, I'm going to do a modification. So I'm going to take this, copy it, paste it, and that's my loop. And I can do anything else I want to later. I can return, I can print, but I've kind of simplified what goes on here. I don't have to have an if statement. Now in our bonus scores, we still had an if statement because I wanted to make sure that the score was valid. But if I didn't have to do this, I could have taken out the if statement and made it even simpler. So I hope this helps you understand priming read and modification read can be a great tool to use. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. So I challenge you in the next program when you use a sentinel, try a modification and a, a priming read and a modification read. Now for your homework, you're going to just write down a couple of loops using priming read and modification read. So get to it.